And welcome back, guys. Actually, no. Um, welcome. That's that's a better way to introduce this because this is a new game. So, welcome, guys, to the novelist. And um, I don't know too much about this game. Did I even introduce myself? Okay, my name is Taz. And anyways, this is the novelist, and it's about like this father guy and a novelist at the same time. That's his job. Anyways, I don't know too much, just, I didn't want to spoil the game, just, uh, let's just get started. Select difficulty, stealth, story. The Kaplans will be able to see you, so stay out of sight. The Kaplans won't be able to see you, so explore freely. What? Who's Kaplan? I, actually, I think that's my last name. Yeah, it is. Stealth. We'll be able to see you, so stay out of sight. Huh? Let's do story. Uh, would you like to play through a brief tutorial? Uh, actually, yeah. I might cut this part out. This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. Hmm. Wait a second. Who am I? W to emerge. Forward, last. The same old, same old. Um, look at the letter on the dining room table. And read it by pressing spacebar. Okay. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to the home, to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties, and your family will have a memorable visit. Booked through August 31st. Security deposit. Buy groceries at the town. Eat dinner. There are quite a few restaurants. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We're in Oregon. Okay. Look the lighting fixtures and press space to possess it? What? Whoa. You can possess any lighting fixture in the house. You can even jump from one light to another in order to move through the house more quickly. Use possession to reach the office upstairs. Okay. Um, Where's the office upstairs? Is it this? Okay, we did it. I think this is the start of the game. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Uh, your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how we should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome. And it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one character, you can uncover compromises that will help the family. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm like a ghost, actually, and I'm trying to make the dad make the best possible decisions. Gotcha. Writer's block. Um, we're supposed to be sneaking around. Actually, no, I don't have to sneak around because I chose a uh, story mode. Maybe I should have chose the other mode. Where are you, buddy? What is that? Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help, or a long drive, or a drink. Um, oh, okay. 
Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You discover one of Dan's. Um, you should search the house to discover how I can help him, basically. Okay. Um, can I... Oh, I'm not using West. What is that? Oh, those are papers. Um, I think this is... Is this his room? No. This looks like a kid's room. I think this is kid's room, yeah. That's a bathroom. Oh, shoot. Ugh. No, get out of here. This is his room. Oh, there he is. When you look at a character, you can press space to see what they're thinking about. Okay. If this doesn't work... What happens? He's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories. To learn more about the current chapter, approach Dan from behind and press space. Okay, so I have to actually... Do this. Um, You can explore freely. Follow the sounds to locate different memories. Okay, you... Uh, you leave by pressing space. Gotcha. So... Sound is like coming this way. Or is it this? It has to. Do you think coming here will help? Do you think coming here will help? Hmm. Now that I think about it, there's no challenge to the game if since I chose story mode. That's okay. Where's the sound? It's like coming that way, but I didn't see anything. Can I run? No. Maybe it's downstairs. Oh, he's right there. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing? Come on. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? Hmm. Okay. We found three of his memories, and uh, you can come back and re-examine them any time. Press E to continue. That's about all we can do, so let's leave... Did we leave his memory? We did not. How do no, stop. Stop it. They said space. Oh, E to exit memory. Never mind. Whoa. Dan, we're back. Okay, um, hold on, lady. You should look for clues in them. Okay, let me just read this. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, I hope this reaches you before you leave the summer. I want you to know that. We went over this in my office, but I think Tommy is a wonderful child, and I feel better putting my recommendations in writing. Children develop at different speeds, and Tommy shows no sign of serious learning disorder. Um, okay. Basically, I think the problem... Whoa. Uh, tab. Search the house. Search for her memories. Okay, so... I believe the dilemma for him right now is that there's the writer's block, but the writer's block could be caused be by the, um, I don't know this either. Oh, yes, I did. Um, because of Tommy, perhaps. Let's jump down here. And go into Tommy's mind. Oh, they're outside. Do I have to, like, do this? How do I get out there then? Are there any other kids? Oh, like that. We'll have to find out. Are there any other kids? Okay. So Tommy's kind of 
lonely, I guess. Um, upstairs. What's here? Someone's an artist. Probably Linda? Maybe? Oh, there he is. Hello. That's cute, man. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, hey, he... look! Having fun Whoa. today? Why am I getting surprised by this? No distractions here, just us. What is Tom Tommy thinking? No, not like that. I meant like his thoughts. Well, okay, this is fine too. No one's here. Someone's here. Is it Linda? I yeah, think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. I'm assuming that means divorce. What the heck? What? What is this? Huh? I promise. Me too. Me too. I promise. I promise. Okay. That was just what she said, like, two seconds ago, and there's no more sound. At least not that I can hear, so... We'll go back. So how do I fix the problems that... Hmm. Hmm. Hello. How do I read your thoughts? Just keep it together. Oh, I didn't read... Tommy's thoughts. Um, hey, mommy, do you like this one? Wow, honey, that looks great. I can't. Okay, what's your thoughts? Just one night. For what? Hmm. What is this? A fishing rod? Um. What can I do? I don't understand. Press this. Oh wait, let's press tab. Uh, search the house for more clues. Gotcha. So nothing here. Oh, there's a book. Hey, huh? It's such a crazy let's read thought. It. The three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a raccoon problem or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got set up today. I felt a buzz right away. So much time to work. I haven't had a space like this in forever, probably since I left the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. So, is this place a vacation home? Whoa. Oh. That's new. They're playing a game. I can't tell what game it is. Snakes and ladders, maybe? You discovered enough about the chapter to find out how they want to resolve it. Read their thoughts to learn how you can help them. Okay. Um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Space. So much time to paint. That's not really helping. More time to paint? That's what you want. What is that? What? Okay. 
Pick up more canvas. Okay, that was nothing special. Where's Tommy? Tommy boy. Whoa. They're probably upstairs. Can I like... Tommy. Oh, look. What is this? Aww. He's sad because his dad has to work all the time. Okay. Me and daddy... Find the object in the blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you'd like to discover what other characters want to do. Okay. So wait, what was it that you wanted? I wasn't paying attention. It was like some truck, I think. Was it this? Oh. Um, escape. I don't want to just make Tommy happy. I want to make everyone happy. That sounds very communist-like. <laughs> okay. So, let me read your thoughts. Well, okay. I don't break it through. Okay, um... Is there another book or something I can look? I read this one. Okay, so Linda wants more time to paint. I don't know why she really wants the. Oh, Paul, one more. Good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good. Those are still the beats. Those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted. Damn. Paul is... Paul, okay, well, obviously Paul is the other guy. Um. Hmm. That doesn't really help me, does it? Let me read your thoughts again. Where's my notebook? Okay, you want your notebook. And, uh, what does Linda want? Bottle of wine. Hmm. How can I possibly fix this? So that everyone hey, has hey, some happiness. It's just... Well, he wants his notebook. She wants a bottle of wine. He wants like some game. Why don't you guys drink while you guys play that game? What? Will that help? Set up in the studio. Okay, so there's a bottle of wine right here. How do I... Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So, I can pick one right now, but there will be a compromise in the next one. It's just... Okay, let's choose the wine so they don't get divorced and Tommy won't be sad. Yeah, that sounds good. Caplans are asleep. Explore the house to for clues on the past. Then whisper your decision to Dan. So what am I really? Um, apparently there's more clues. By learning the desires of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Press tab to view possible compromises. Tab. What? Tab. Um. Okay. That's basically what they've been telling me the whole time. Clues. Oh. From the desk of Harold Baxter. January 15th, 1948. Whoa, it's that? 
like early in time. Mr. Lowry finally give in, gave in an answer to let me inspect the house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I was cleaning the old files and this house kept coming up. This changed owner seven times in the last 13 years. I began digging and not a single one of the sales was financially motivated. People just seem to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else, which doesn't add up in my mind. The view is striking the isolation and privacy alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so am I the reason that people keep moving out? Maybe. How many sleeps? What? Um, <clears throat> before I go whisper to Paul, I believe his name is, let me just search this room for clues. Nothing. Never mind. Let's just go whisper to John. Or well, Paul. Oh, one more thing. Harold Baxter, one more time. Uh, standing in the kitchen, drinking coffee and admiring the view, I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this every morning? That appears to be the great question of 451 Timberline Road. I slept very well last night. It's a good thing the previous owners left the house furnished. It was just about as quiet as anywhere I've ever been. The only sounds here are the ocean and a few birds. After I finished breakfast, I began my inspection later. I was inspecting this upstairs, walking to make sure the railing was sturdy when I saw something odd downstairs. I'm certain I can describe what it was, and I've already talked myself out, out of thinking it was anything at all. It was probably just a trick of light coming through the big... What? Hold on. Maybe tomorrow we can. So, when he was going upstairs, he saw some light. Can I go outside? Probably not. I'm thinking that there's one more clue. And it seems pretty important. That's us. But... Oh, that means this isn't just a, um, vacation home. Hmm. I see nothing, come on. He said something about... He was going up the stairs... And he saw something. Let me read that one more time real quick. Or the last part. I was inspecting the stairs. I'm not certain. I can describe what it was. Um, through those big windows. Something that came out of the windows. You know what? Time together. I'm just going to go ahead and do whatever. The next day, Dan surprised Linda by grabbing a bottle of wine and asking her if she wanted to drink it and catch up. After they got Tommy into bed, they put their favorite Miles Tanner record and cuddled on the couch, laughing and catching up on things before stumbling to bed. The summer was off to a good start for them. That's great. Dan couldn't get past his writer's block. He laid awake for three nights trying to think of a way out of his jam, but he couldn't come up with one. He had to stay on the schedule and he forced himself to write a scene just to keep moving. He hated each word as he typed, but he had no choice. Dan's mind was elsewhere when Tommy tried to get his dad to play Racing Rogers with him. Linda found Tommy trying to play the game by himself after dinner. She sat down and played a few games with him to cheer him up, but she could tell he really wanted to play with Dan. Wait, who's Paul? I'm really confused now. <laughs>